now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, you know what? For 80% of us here in the greater Cincinnati metro area, we don't have to worry about snow. However, our neighbors to the south, though, and still in parts of our viewing area, we'll see a little bit of snow tonight before it wraps up early tomorrow morning. The sky certainly look like snow out there, but they're just cloud cover across the region right now. Temperatures are chilly. We're holding at 37 degrees. We've got a light northeasterly wind out there at around 3. Most areas seeing temperatures in the middle to upper 30s, so that's the first key ingredient to keep in mind here, and that in itself, is going to limit even for those of you that will see snow from Owenton to Dry Ridge to Falmouth to Brooksville to Maysville, even over towards Peebles and maybe Georgetown. The fact that temperatures are above freezing now will also help to limit and mitigate your snowfall amounts there. So here's a look at your evening forecast. Cloudy and cold here in the metro again for 80% of us with some snow moving into areas well south of the Ohio River. Temperatures holding in the 30s. Here's that storm system. This is what's going to head up the eastern seaboard. While again, it's far enough away Way, it's still close enough to at least skirt our southernmost communities. High pressure is what's putting the squeeze play on this system and really holding it at bay right now. So here's a look at radar, and you can see it's going back and forth between the green and the blue simply because temperatures are above freezing in many areas. So it's kind of a cold rain mixing in with some wet snow from Owington to Falmouth over towards Maysville and West Union. Let me show you Power of Five Live radar because this shows the snow bands up even clearer and you can really see what's happening here. And I'm going to try to draw the line because the storm is beginning to kind of show its hand, if you will. And it's basically from around Georgetown down towards Falmouth over towards Williamstown and Owington. That is going to be the corridor and point south and east from here where snow will accumulate through the evening. Notice there's no snow across northern Kentucky here and none across southwest Ohio or southeast Indiana. So as we go through the next couple of hours and as we go through the evening tonight, the best opportunity for accumulating snow after sunset will be in this area shaded in really bright white. Now there will be a sharp cutoff as you head north and west towards the Cincinnati metro area. So let's call it from Owington to Dry Ridge to Falmouth over towards Georgetown here and then a good chunk of Adams County, most of Peebles and West Union, those will be the places that have the best opportunity of picking up a light accumulation of snow. And you see it pretty good here on Futurecast as well. Let me show you. This is through 830. Notice that snow line stays well to the south of us here in the greater Cincinnati area. But again, from Owenton to Dry Ridge to Falmouth to Georgetown to Peebles, that's where the snow will fall. And notice that line really never moves. And after midnight, the snow begins to pull out of the area. We wake up to what should be mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies for your Saturday. And then as we get into Saturday night, clouds will begin to increase again. And this will set the stage for our next opportunity for snow on Sunday. Right now, it looks like it will start and fall for the most part as rain and probably end as a little snow as temperatures fall as we get into Sunday night and Monday. So 29 for a low here in the metro tonight, mostly cloudy and cold with, again, that snow staying to our south and east. And then for tomorrow, expect, well, more sunshine, but skies will still be partly to mostly cloudy. We should sneak our way up into the low 40s for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Down to 33 tomorrow night. Here's why we start as rain on Sunday, and temperatures stay in the low 40s. Now, looking at some of the latest computer model information, there may be just enough cold air coming in in time late Sunday. Sunday evening that we might be able to pick up a dusting to a half an inch of snow there Sunday night into Monday morning. Again, minor, not a huge amount, but a cold start to next week with temperatures starting the week off below freezing. All right, I like hearing dusting.